little longer than a few minutes later. Hi guys, good morning and uh, welcome back to my channel. This is Mark again. Um, today we're going to do a uh, DIY tutorial. Basically, it's almost the same uh, content as my uh, DIY Big 3 plus grounding kit video. But this will be a more in-depth video on how to do it. So uh, before we begin, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and uh, kindly check my playlist. Alright, so before we begin guys, uh, let's try to figure out what grounding kit is for. Okay, so grounding kit is added, like especially the aftermarket ones are added to the stock body ground or basically the ground of your vehicle in order for... Uh, um, us to improve uh, the flow of current on that specific uh, accessory. Let's say you want to improve the, the current that's, that goes in on your uh, throttle body or uh, basically your horns or your headlights. Uh, you might want to add additional uh, ground wires to it, okay? Because sometimes some of the uh, uh, vehicles, especially now, manufacturers tend to like uh, go cheap on those ground wires so it's like easier for for the wires to corrode so more maintenance that's the reason why aftermarket uh, grounding kits has been uh, uh, sold uh, as a retail later all right so before i do have a six point grounding kit um, five goes to the negative ground and um, one would be the positive to alternator so I actually removed one wire so this makes it a five point grounding kit uh, I'm gonna disassemble everything as I'll be using one single ground wire uh, with ring terminals installed in it like this one all right and install it in the uh, engine bay okay i'll remove this one the hks aftermarket one So I just finished up installing the uh, new grounding kit with a 7 point uh, terminal. This is a bit overkill um, for the car I must say. This makes it 8 point uh, grounding kit. Um, at one point I actually uh, uh, was having a hard time figuring where to put those terminals. Because basically I just needed three. I just needed three. One, two, and then the body. So this one, I'll show you where I installed the uh, seven point kit. So one would be the negative terminal. Number two is for the throttle body. Uh, three and four is on the uh, radiator bracket. Five is on the um, hinge for the hood uh, lever. Uh, six would be for the horn and seven for the headlight. So basically you guys just need three, but if you uh, have more wires like me, you can put like seven or eight it depends on you and depends on the need of your car um, as you all know I do have a, um, a sound system installed and I would you know I, I really need uh, high voltage uh, flowing um, through my car okay so that is my 
eight point grounding kit. All right, so now I'm gonna show you um, where this red wire runs um, on the alternator, okay? I'll just uh, get a jack and I'll show yeah, you. So I'm gonna show you now where this wire runs on this side, the side of the f um, drive belts, this one, I'll show you where it uh, connects on the alternator. So all you need to do is you need to jack up the car, like that one, and just make sure you um, pull the uh, handbrake as well as maybe put a, a rock on the uh, uh, rear tire. And put, don't forget to put the uh, uh, gear on the uh, lowest gear possible. So I'll just go underneath the vehicle and uh, I'll show you where it connects and the uh, small ground wire as well um, by the factory. All right, so I'm underneath the vehicle. I'll show you first the uh, factory ground that was uh, installed by Hyundai. So you see that short wire? That's the only ground that was installed by Hyundai that goes to the body and goes to your engine. All right. And then the positive wire. All right. So that's the alternator. Do you see the uh, part that has a cover? I'll try to point it out. This one. That one. Uh, all right. So that one, you just need to remove the plastic cover or the rubber cover and then there you will install your uh, ground wire basically or the wire coming from your positive terminal of your battery and going to your alternator just make sure again to do install a fuse um, on this wire okay so when you're um, installing a grounding kit just make sure to always check for corrosion that's the number one um, enemy of electrical current okay because if one of your terminal is corroded uh, definitely um, you'll have problems uh, with your electricity or electrical current if I may two hours later all right so that basically sums up um everything if you have any questions suggestions feel free to comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing again thank you so much for joining me this is mark you guys have a good day all right so um shout out to my boy andrew so andrew what can you say uh Subscribe to Mark Anthony Reyes.